Hey, good morning, Ethan. Well, it's a familiar face. Uh, this is Mr. Gary Becker, the POA president. He joined me earlier talking about some fun stuff, but uh, Mr. Becker, five minutes was just not enough to talk about all the great stuff here in Diamond Head. It went quick. Yes, sir, it did. Uh, so we're back, and uh, you know, you were telling us a little bit about your history uh, moving here in the area uh, many a couple of decades ago. Uh, as far as the POA president goes, uh, explain to us the task that I imagine is quite a monumental task. You, you have what? Uh, 900 and change homes in the area? Uh, oh, 9,000. I'm, I'm sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah f forgive me, I dropped the zero. About 8,000, we're about 10,000 people, but okay. really about uh, probably five or 6,000 homes, okay. actual homes, plus a lot of vacant spots. But I became president in a strange way. Um, at the end of last year, our president and vice president both resigned due to health reasons. Mm -hmm at the same time, and I was the treasurer and so took over the president's job and found out it's a lot more to do than being treasurer as time went mm -hmm. along. I appreciate the gentleman that had it before me more now, but. Now, I'm, just out of curiosity, is this a full-time position for you as far as the HOA president? No, it's not. We, the general manager is in charge of day-to-day -day operations mm -hmm. and we control things that the board gets involved in. Okay. Large expenditures and changes to the property and things like that, okay. so. The day-to-day -day task is done by our good employees, and so now, that, I don't, go ahead. that takes some of the load off. I don't want to get in too much with the numbers, but I imagine, my goodness, y'all have got to be dealing with a huge amount for as far as uh, POE dues out here. Uh, explain what all that goes towards. Well, the dues goes towards supplementing what the members enjoy here mm -hmm. for the price they pay. Um, in other words, the club, the administrative offices, the insurance and other things are supplemented by the dues. Mm -hmm. So the members' dues, which are really small, $56 a month wow. for all of these amenities, uh, go towards supplementing the $6 million or the $4 million we take in from operations. Wow. Uh, now, you've, we're, we're standing behind the golf course here, but y'all have so much more than just the golfing, right? We do. We've got two golf courses, four pools, an airport, a marina, a ship store, uh, walking trails, you name it. We've got it you, for you, the members. You know, a couple of decades ago when I first got here, people used to refer to this as a diamond head community. This is more than a community. I mean, this is, you've got an airport, you've got a lot yeah. happening here. Yeah, the POA owns approximately $30 million of assets that were all given to us by the developer. My goodness, okay. Uh, now driving in here, you see, I mean, you, you see, but you don't necessarily see. This place is pristine. I mean, y'all take, it, it's immaculate out here. Well, both the POA and the city both work hard to keep the community clean, and the members appreciate that, of course, and they pitch in. You know, when they see that it's clean, they tend to keep it that way. And homeowners, again, will look at the property and say, you know, I should keep up my home also. And so we're very lucky that we've got a combination effort of the city, the POA, and the people that live here to keep the place looking yeah. good. And of course, you know, not everybody enjoys a POA, but uh, you know, I tell people the benefits all the time of a POA is that, you know, one of the biggest investments you're going to purchase is a home, unless right. it's a business. When you purchase that home, that's your resort. When you look out your front door, you don't want to see a 1967 rust bucket sitting up there on center blocks. Right. And that's where the POA helps out. You can look out your window and see niceties just like your neighbor looks out their windows at your home and sees the same effects there. Yeah, and the city's taken over a lot of that responsibility. Mm -hmm. You know, They have an officer that goes around looking for violations. Okay. And we have a person also, and they work together to keep the community looking good. And, and this is a pretty cool golf cart community as well, right? It is. I think we were the first community in Mississippi to be granted a license to have golf carts on the streets by the state. Yeah, Councilwoman uh, Anna Elise was bragging about that, saying yeah. that there was other communities, but we started it first in Diamond Head. We did, yeah. Uh, now, Mr. Becker, uh, outside of the fixed amenities, tennis course, uh, tennis court, golf course, uh, the mm -hmm. uh, pools and things like that, Y'all ever have any special functions around here? We do. Um, we usually have something in this facility almost every night. Mm -hmm. um, on two, every second Tuesday of the month or two Tuesdays a month, we have bingo. We have 
karaoke, or we have trivia on Wednesday, karaoke on Thursday, live bands on Friday, some kind of music on Saturday, wow. and sometimes something on Sunday. That's, so. that's a full weekly slate. Let me ask you one last question before we wrap this up. If I don't live in Diamond Head, can I still come out here and have dinner and things of that nature? Absolutely, yes. Okay. All right. You're welcome to come. There you go, folks. And when he says you're welcome to come, he's talking about all you people out there. Come on out. Check out Diamond Head, the clubhouse, this great restaurant they've got. Hey, let me tell you this. The breakfast, it wasn't anything special. It was bacon, eggs, potatoes. But, man, that was, some, that was good stuff. The potatoes, okay. I don't know what y'all put in that, but I've got to have that again sometime soon. All right. Uh, come check out the golf course, folks. Uh, the amenities Diamond Head has to offer, you won't regret it. It's a beautiful community. Uh, Mr. Becker, thank you again for joining me thank this you. morning. We appreciate thank the time and the information. Instances. Yes, sir. Stick with me. Uh, folks, Rob Knight reporting live from Diamond Head, Mississippi for Celebrate Cities and WXXV News 25.